NASA's 10 billion space telescope studied the third interstellar object to enter the solar system, measuring the chemical contents of its halo. The James Webb Space Telescope has observed the interstellar visitor 3I Atlas for the first time. The powerful space telescope trained its infrared vision and its near infrared spectrograph instrument, NIR spec, on the comet on AUG. 6 2025. Discovered on July 1st by the Atlas, Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System. Survey Telescope 3I Atlas is just the third ever object found drifting through our solar system that is believed to have originated from around another star. The other two interstellar intruders were 1I Umuamua, discovered in 2017, and 2I Borisov, detected in 2019. Pause for a few seconds and support me with a subscribe. The James Webb Space Telescope follows in the footsteps of the Hubble Space Telescope and the Spherex Observatory, both of which have already observed 3I Atlas as it passes through the solar system. This investigation aims to uncover characteristics of 3I Atlas, including its size, physical properties, and importantly, its chemical makeup. In a preprint paper describing their investigation of 3I Atlas, a team of astronomers that observed the comet with the James Webb Space Telescope explains that studying comets like this from other star systems helps to study what conditions were like in those systems as they were forming. Yeah! Those results can then be compared to what scientists have learned about the conditions around the Sun 4.6 billion years ago when the planets, asteroids, and comets of the solar system were forming. When comets approach the Sun and are warmed by its heat, Frozen materials within them are transformed from solids straight into gases. This results in gases escaping, a process called outgassing, creating the characteristic tail and halo or coma of a comet. As expected, 3I Atlas is outgassing as it approaches the Sun, and astronomers have used the James Webb Space Telescope and its NIR spec instrument to identify carbon dioxide, water, water ice, carbon monoxide and the smelly gas carbonyl sulfide in its coma. What wasn't expected, however, was the highest ratio of carbon dioxide to water ever observed in a comet. This could reveal more about the conditions in which 3I Atlas formed. The abundance of carbon dioxide in the coma of 3I Atlas could indicate that the interstellar comet has a heart that is intrinsically rich in carbon dioxide. This could imply that the comet contains ices that were exposed to much higher levels of radiation than comets in the solar system have been exposed to. Alternatively, the team suggests this high carbon dioxide content could indicate that 3I Atlas may have formed in a specific site called the carbon dioxide ice line within the swirling cloud of matter or protoplanetary disk that surrounded its stellar parent. This is defined as the point at which the temperature around an infant star or protostar falls low enough to allow carbon dioxide to change from a gas to a solid. Furthermore, the low abundance of water vapor in the coma of 3I Atlas could indicate that there is something within the comet that is inhibiting heat from penetrating the icy core of the comet. This would hinder the amount of water transforming from ice into gas relative to the transformation rate of carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. These new findings build upon the wealth of fascinating data being collected about 3I Atlas. This includes the previous discovery that the interstellar comet could actually be around 7 billion years old, meaning it is the oldest comet ever seen, and around 3 billion years older than the solar system. The team behind that prior research on the comet came to this conclusion when they examined the steep trajectory of 3I Atlas through the solar system. This indicated that it comes from the Milky Way's thick disk of stars, a region of our galaxy much more ancient than the thin disk within which the Sun was born. One thing is certain, the study of 3I Atlas will continue until the comet returns to interstellar space with considerably fewer secrets than it carried into the solar system. And the James Webb Space Telescope is set to be heavily involved in the unraveling of this mystery. Take a moment and give us a like for this video. Thank you so much. A few seconds before my flight to Copenhagen lifted off the ground at Boston's Logan Airport, 
I received an email with the paper reporting the first Webb telescope data from August 6, 2025, on 3i Atlas. The 15 minutes of wait for the onboard Wi-Fi connectivity to show up felt like eternity, but the wait was worth it. The stunning web data from a 6.5-meter infrared telescope with unprecedented spectral sensitivity was worth the wait. In short, the web data confirms the existence of a carbon dioxide, CO2 gas plume, around 3i Atlas, with significantly lower levels of water, H2O, and carbon monoxide, CO, as reported a few days earlier by the SphereX Space Observatory team. Whereas the Webb telescope has much better spectral and spatial resolution, SphereX mapped the spherically symmetric CO2 plume a hundred times farther from 3i Atlas and demonstrated that it extends beyond 34 year and 8,000 kilometers. 3i Atlas does not feature a cometary tail that extends beyond the width of its coma, as was already evident from the higher resolution image taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. That this tail is not seen suggests that 3i Atlas does not shed a lot of dust particles with a size comparable to the wavelength of sunlight, 0.5 micrometer, and that the reflected sunlight originates from the surface of 3i Atlas. This implies a diameter of up to 46 kilometers for an albedo of 5%, according to the SphereX data. Infrared spectroscopy of 3i Atlas at a heliocentric distance of 3.32 Earth-Sun separations was taken with the NIR spec instrument on board the Webb telescope. The spectral images at wavelengths in the range of 0.65.3 micrometers reveal a prominent carbon dioxide, CO2, dominated coma, with enhanced outgassing in the direction of the sun, as well as the presence of much less water vapor, H2O, carbon monoxide, CO, water ice, and dust. The derived ratio of CO2 to H2O output by number of molecules is 8, among the highest ever observed. The data implies an intrinsically CO2-rich nucleus. The low abundance of H2O vapor is surprising at the object's distance from the sun. The spectrum of 3i Atlas shows a prominent CO2 gas emission feature, along with weak H2O and CO emission features, and a prominent water ice absorption feature. The inferred mass loss rates from 3i Atlas are 129 kg per second for CO2, 6.6 kg per second for H2O, and 14 kg per second of CO. The H2O mass loss rate is only 5% of the CO2 output. This is 16 times more extreme than expected for a typical comet at the same distance from the Sun. If the optically thin dust plume makes a small contribution to the total reddened spectrum, the flux detected by SphereX at a wavelength of 1 micrometer from 3i Atlas suggests a nucleus with a diameter of 46 kilometers. This implies that the mass of the nucleus of 3i Atlas is a million times larger than that of the previous interstellar comet 2i Borisov. This huge gap in mass is surprising, since we should have discovered numerous objects of the size of 2i Borisov before discovering a 46 kilometer interstellar object. Moreover, as I noted in my first paper on 3i Atlas, the amount of rocky material per unit volume in interstellar space is smaller by a factor of 10,000 than the value needed to deliver into the inner solar system one giant rock of this size over the decade-long survey conducted by the Atlas telescope. The web image at a wavelength of 1.2 micrometer shows no cometary tail behind 3i Atlas. The glow around 3i Atlas could originate from the reflection of sunlight by fragments of CO2 ice that 3i Atlas sheds rather than dust. These icy fragments evaporate in the sunlight and create the extended spherically symmetric CO2 cloud around 3i Atlas. The CO2 mass loss amounts to the ablation of a millimeter thick layer from the surface of a 46 kilometer object over a period of a few years. In other words, a relatively thin outer layer is sufficient to maintain the observed cloud of CO2 gas around 3i Atlas. What lies under this outer skin remains unknown. The high CO2 to H2O ratio is puzzling. There is only one previous comet with a similarly extreme CO2 to H2O ratio, 
named C-2016R2, but its image shows a clear cometary tail that does not look anything like the plume around 3I Atlas. The web team conjectures that the anomalous composition of the gas plume surrounding 3II Atlas might be the result of high reflectance or reduced heat penetration through its surface, increasing the albedo from 5% to the maximum value of 100% for a mirror reduces the estimated diameter from 46 to 10 kilometers based on the SphereX data. This still poses an untenable demand on rocky material in interstellar space, a way to resolve the discrepancy between the mass reservoir of rocks in interstellar space. And the unexpected discovery of a large object is that 3I Atlas was not drawn from a population of rocks on random trajectories, but instead, its trajectory was designed to target the inner solar system. This possibility is consistent with the alignment of this retrograde trajectory with the orbital plane of the planets around the Sun, a coincidence of one part in 500 for a random occurrence. Just before I left for my trip, a humoristic news article appeared with the title Asteroid the size of 59 Avi lobes to pass Earth on Wednesday, Augmer 27, NASA. To put 3I Atlas in perspective, a human produces about 1 kilogram of CO2 per day. The mass loss rate from 3I Atlas of 129 kilogram per second amounts to the CO2 output of about 10 million people. A space platform which measures 46 kilometers in diameter could potentially host the needed population of biological passengers if they are packed as densely as humans are on Manhattan Island. In the Uber drive towards the Niels Bohr Institute in Copenhagen, I was glad to see a new preprint this morning, advocating the search for technological signatures from interstellar objects. Some of the authors of this paper criticized my advocacy to consider such signatures over the past month. But when a reporter with a filming crew asked me yesterday about my response, I told her that I avoid mud wrestling because it gets everyone dirty. Instead, I prefer to play chess and apparently this approach appears to be paying off. As Oscar Wilde noted, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. As I gazed out the window of the Niels Bohr Institute, pondering the latest JWST data on 3I Atlas, a profound sense of awe washed over me, like staring into the abyss of cosmic history, where this ancient wanderer whispers secrets from a star system long lost to time. A colossal icy relic, potentially 46 kilometers across based on Spherex's infrared glow at one micrometer, hurtling through our solar realm at 137,000 miles per hour. That's not just a comet, it's a time capsule ejected from its birth disk billions of years ago, now gracing us with revelations that could rewrite our understanding of planetary formation. The James Webb Space Telescope's NIR spec instrument on August 6, 2025, pierced the veil of 3I Atlas's coma, unveiling a carbon dioxide dominated envelope with a CO2 to H2O ratio of 8.1, eight times higher than any typical comet at this 3.32 AU distance from the Sun. This isn't mere anomaly, it's a scream from the void. Water vapor clocks in at a meager 5% of CO2 output. With mass loss rates of 129 ke siazis for CO2, 6.6 ke siazis for H2O, and 14 ke siazis for CO. Add traces of carbonyl sulfide, that pungent gas evoking rotten eggs, and water ice absorption bands, and you have a chemical fingerprint utterly alien to our Oort cloud kin. Why this CO2 extravagance? As a veteran asteroid hunter, I've chased countless space rocks, but none like this. It hints at formation beyond the CO2 ice line in a protoplanetary disk where frigid temperatures froze CO2 before water could dominate. Or perhaps relentless interstellar radiation stripped away volatiles, leaving a CO2-enriched core. The low water suggests an insulating barrier, maybe a dusty regolith or exotic composition, thwarting solar heat from reaching deeper H2O reservoirs. Compare this to 2I Borisov our previous interstellar guest whose mass was a millionth of 3I Atlas's inferred bulk. Statistically, spotting such a behemoth first defies expectations. Interstellar space shouldn't harbor so much rocky material per volume. Yet here's the heart-stirring thrill. 
3i Atlas's retrograde trajectory aligns improbably with our ecliptic plane, a 1 in 500 cosmic coincidence. Its path skirts Mars in October 2025, then Jupiter, as if engineered for gravitational assists. Could this be natural serendipity or a probe from an ancient civilization cloaked in ice and gas? I've advocated searching for techno-signatures amid backlash, but the data demands we consider it. This isn't science fiction. It's the frontier of discovery, urging us to launch interceptors like ESA's Comet Interceptor. Pause and feel the weight. We're witnessing a 7 billion year old envoy, older than our sun, potentially harboring clues to extraterrestrial life or tech. The Hubble's July 21st image shows a teardrop coma, no tail, just symmetric outgassing, eerie in its precision. If 3 Atlas sheds its outer millimeter thick CO2 layer over years, what lurks beneath? A rocky heart or something manufactured? Friends, this interstellar invader tugs at our souls, reminding us we're not alone in the galaxy's vast tapestry. Support the quest, subscribe, like, share, for every datum brings us closer to the star's deepest truths. The mystery unfolds, let's chase it together.